continue paying tribute to uh, Bob Mabena, who has died today. We're joined by radio personality Hector Modau on the line. Hector, good evening, and thank you so much for your time on News at Prime. Condolences uh, to you. Talk to me about your friendship, your journey with Bob Mabena. Uh, first of all, uh, good evening to your listeners and to you, Cathy, and uh, and uh, to the host of his uh, fans who are uh, grieving uh, tonight. My journey with Mabena starts when I was growing up in the township of Mabopani, north of Pretoria. Um, that year, I remember I had a gap year. You know, I finished my grade 12 in 89. And eight, 1990, I'm just sitting at home and uh, I'm listening to the radio, and I hear this voice on Radio 4 back then. And I was trying to find a career to pursue, and none, you know, my mother wanted me to be a teacher, my aunt wanted me to be a, a, a doctor. But when I listened to this guy play music, I mean, Bob Mabena gave us Keith Sweat, he gave us Tupac, he gave us Kleine Fischer. I'm listening to this guy, and Best I was right there and there convinced that, you know what, I'm going to do radio. And I started making preparations to be on radio. And unfortunately, Katie, you know, just when I look forward to working with, to working with Bob on Radio Bob, mm. he left to join um, Metro FM. So I continued to listen to FM, but being on, on, on radio. And our paths crossed again because from Metro, I think uh, many people will remember that he went to High Fells Radio. And uh, I joined Kaya FM. And guess what? A few months after I joined Kaya, uh, Kaya FM, boom, Bob Mabena comes to become our programs manager at Radio Bob. And you can imagine, you're working with this guy who is a super mega star. Mm. Bob was like big, you know. And, and I told him that I can't believe I'm pinching myself that here I am on the same station with Bob Mabena and... You know, I heard a lot of people who were talking before me. He just remained just unassuming guy, just ever so humble, down to earth person. I was like, but this is Bob Papena. He should be, you know, you know, walking around and making everybody feel him. But mm -hmm. Bob Papena just remained ever so humble and a teacher for life. I mean, a lot of people will tell you how when you are around him, he would teach you and he would call you gently and say, Hector, you know, I'm listening to you. Uh, if you could put this this way or approach it this way, he remained a teacher forever and, uh, and an, an ether of talent. I mean, if you look at people like Pumba, who's still on radio right now, he was discovered by um, Bob Mabena and so many other people. And I don't know if people have paid tribute to the Mabena, the TV star, in that Bob TV had a show called On the Beat. And he appeared on that show, and uh, so we heard him on, he made impact on us, on me, you know, on radio. But then when he appeared on television, it was like, wow. Mm -hmm. And he made us believe that this was possible. And, Katie, may I boldly state, I might be wrong, but let me boldly state that I think Bob Mabena was the first crossover DJ in that way he was appreciated across the, the racial lines, mm -hmm. you know. That's why he ended up on, on High Cells Radio. It was all because of that, that he had this mass appeal. There was just something about Mabena, just a magnet about him. And um, when he left Kaya to, I think he was Gagaga uh, the FM or something like that, um, I was so heartbroken, and I told him, and he said, uh, he, told, he called me reverend <laughs> for some reason. He called me reverend, and he told me that, Look, Reverend, anything is possible, my man, and uh, uh, we shall cross paths again. And recently, I was working on bringing back Radio Bob online, and he said, look, um, he gave me a cap, a Radio Bob cap, because he, he had started printing, reprinting the Radio Bob caps, and he put it on my head. And, Kathy, I felt like I was being anointed. <laughs> <He's so laughs> <happy. laughs> mm. you know, he put this black cap, Radio Bob cap, on my head, and I felt... I think Bob Mabena was saying, here is a mental right man, run with this thing. This is when he was already with Power FM. Mm -hmm. And uh, I couldn't relate to the Bob, the, uh, the, the, the talk show, host, uh, honestly, because I knew Bob as this cool, hip, and happening uh, radio megastar that I knew when I was growing up, the man who managed me at Kaya FM. And um, hearing about his passing today, I mean, Many people, because I wrote the book, and I mentioned how Bob Mabena impacted on me. So I had so many calls this afternoon as if really part of the Mabena family, but mm -hmm. I can understand why, because many people would hear about, in a, almost every interview, I would say Bob this, Bob that, Bob this, and Bob that. Hector, very briefly, 
What would you say are some of the most important lessons that you've learned from Bob Mabena, perhaps the first two that come to mind? Stay humble. It doesn't matter how big you get, whether you're a super mega celebrity, stay humble. That's the only lesson I've learned from but Stay humble. Or, or rather, love your craft as well. Bob worked hard. It's just, it's just if you are still new on radio, he worked very hard. Those are the two lessons.